NLDB can yade ahina se nutun government higher secondary school block building integration located at Razukre government higher secondary school de inaugural program suru hobole ase ahibi edu obor de inaugural program de details bra sai sabo to experience things away from the school campus. And we used to ask other departments like NSD to help us. And most of the time, we hire private minibus for our purposes. But now, we are very grateful to the department as we have our own bus service. Lastly, <coughs> I want to place a humble request to the department under the leadership of our advisor, Dr. Catherine Fume and his team, who are all here today, that this school, being a heritage constructed during the British time, the building is in high time to be maintained, preserved before it gets ruined. The school has celebrated its 75 years that in Jubilee in 2016 and has only a few years left to attain 100 years of its existence. I personally, as well as uh, all our staff, we have full hope in the dynamic leadership of our advisor as from the time he joined the department he has shown and he has been giving his interest, concern to our department. And therefore, once again, I request him and his team to look into the condition of our school as on prior basis. This school has 940 students. We have 70 dedicated teachers led by our senior principal. Madam Lebu, who is running this along with 14 staffers. So, today our school is with all of us proud. Exactly 100 years ago, 1924, a man by the name of David Sa, who went on to become an IS officer, the first IS officer, who also went on to become the member of Lok Sabha. He was the first graduate amongst others. He passed out at the age of 21 years. So, this year's month marks the centennial year of our first Naga graduate. Naga society is a very young society. 100 years ago, we had our first graduate. Earlier, we were doing all sorts of things, but we were living in mountain tops. Between the hills, between the villages, there was infighting, there was misunderstanding. Today, from all walks of Naga society, many people have stepped inside this school compound and many people have become leaders in the past and we hope that in the future also many of you will continue to do all of us proud. All over Nagaland, it is the job of the government to provide free education to our children whether they are in the interiors or in urban areas. Likewise, the government is doing its best through its 1,939 schools. Our higher secondary schools are becoming very popular, 53 in number. We hope to open more higher secondary schools aggressively in the future. That is also because government of India has given an order that colleges are not allowed to take class 11 and 12. So last year, 15 colleges, that became the last for them to take up 11 and 12. So out of 15 colleges, which stopped last year, seven colleges were from Kohima. So we were understanding the pattern of how our people are suffering here, especially in urban area like Kohima. 
where so many people do not get admission. Around 1,400 could not get admission in the normal colleges. This year in Mon district, a kind of revivalism is taking place. 1,439 students matriculated from Mon district. We are very proud of that. Not many people can go outside Mon. So they have to stay back in Mon to pursue their studies at 11. Otherwise, it is too expensive to go beyond Mon. So we have opened a uh, higher secondary school, recently upgraded a uh, primary school into a uh, higher secondary school recently. This year we had to bring down the 1953 built Wakjin High School in Wakjin Mall. Wakjin High School is the fifth high school in Nagaland, the first high school in Eastern area. This is our first high school in Nagaland. So it is a very sad thing because such an old building, such a heritage building, ultimately it had to come down, but we were not able to take care of it, so it was causing danger, so we ultimately had to bring it down. So today, our new building has been built by a good friend of mine, Albert Dignofilia. Uh, it's a modern building. This building is a heritage building. So as your principal had requested, we are exploring means to make this as a heritage building. Our school anthem, Hail Kohima, sung and uh, what do we call composed by the Reverend G. W. Sutley, the missionary who came all the way from America to bring education to our people. We still honor what he has composed. Wakjin, I mentioned because the school was built in a very large tree, beautiful compound. Likewise, this used to be jungle. The city has now caught up with this area. Now, Wema City comes all this way. We call it an urban area. This is represented by high school ward number one. We have our chairman of this ward. My uncle uh, is here, he has given a good speech. It's very important that we remember him. So there are 19 words, it begins from here. So this plot was given by my villagers, Goyma village, a very beautiful area, but we also see that a lot of encroachment is taking place, starting with Nagaland University, which is refusing to vacate all our occupied half quarters. We have written to them. We want to make this as a landmark for Kohima, the beautification. The character of a city is also like human beings, marked by its resilience. Kohima's character as a city, accommodative, not only accommodative, we want to make Kohima beautiful. We want to Kohima make Kohima beautiful. These kind of institutions add to our intellectual and cultural life. It not only provides education, but it also gives beauty to our Kohima city. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaka Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.